Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how I store my bike for winter because I was getting a lot of questions about this and for my bike, it's actually really simple. What I did was I got this battery tender right here. You can get it on from Amazon for like $40, I think. And it's not a trickle charger, it's a battery tender and mine goes, there's all sorts of different models, but mine goes into the wall here. And as you can see here, maybe not, uh, this says lead acid right here because I have a lead acid battery and you can select right here. This is a terrible shot of this. There's a select button right here that goes over to lithium ion, but I don't have a lithium ion battery on my bike. So um, just check to see which, well, yeah, just check to see what your bike has, but either way, this charger does both. Not all of them do both, but this particular one does both. And this indicator here, this top indicator here will be orange if it's below a certain percentage of charge. And then when it gets closer to being full charge, it will blink green. And once it's actually all the way full, it will be a solid green. And yes, yeah, so you can get this on Amazon, and I'm sure other places. And it's really nice because if you can see the leads here, hopefully that's showing up on camera, it just screws right in to your negative and positive. And then when you're done, um, this lead wire cable here, when you're done, it actually um, disconnects right here. What you do is you disconnect it and then you Plug it, it's difficult to do with one hand, but you get it, right? That's what it looks like, I had to set the camera down. And then for my bike, which is really nice, it stores neatly in here, in this little empty space here, and then you just put the seat over top of it. The next winter, you just do the same thing. You just plug it in, put that. As you can see, yeah, it's um, blinking orange because Obviously there's nothing connected to it, so it doesn't sense that there is a charge. Okay, and then next winter, or whenever you store your bike for a really long time, you just plug it back in to this terminal here. And for the fuel, I use this fuel stabilizer that you can get at, I'm pretty sure, Advanced Auto Parts or wherever. I got mine at Walmart, and one ounce um, it's marked on the side here. Hopefully it shows up on camera, but it probably won't There's little side markers here Showing like um, each ounce and then just put an ounce in for every five gallons and My bike the tank on my bike is about five gallons not quite five gallons So I just put an ounce in I'm sure it's not like an exact science or anything, but yeah, since my bike is so new, that's all I had to do was I had to make sure the battery was good for next startup, next season. And you just literally plug that in and just leave it. It's battery tender right there. It's different models. I'll link the model that I have in the description box below if that's the one you want. It's like 40 bucks. Super easy. Um, this install took me like maybe five minutes. I just disconnected, unscrewed the negative and positive leads here. And then I just put the uh, battery tender lead wires there. Super easy, terminal. Store it, put your seat on once you're done. And yeah, that is about it for my bike. I know uh, other bikes, you might have to do a lot more maintenance if if your bike is older, but mine is a 2023, so I didn't have to do much to this. And yeah, be ready to ride, and I can't wait to get back out there next season. If you can check it out, all the snow that we have. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, that is all I have for this video. If you guys have any other tips on how to store your bike, leave them in the comment section down below and I will talk to you guys later.